In this episode, we get a Harbor Freight engine stand, assemble it, pull the 5.7 liter Hemi for the Grand Cherokee out of its storage place in the trailer, put it on the engine stand and unwrap it and see what we got. Thank you to all those that commented with an engine color, we should paint the 5.7 liter Hemi that's going in a Grand Cherokee. We will review the results of that survey in this episode. You like an impact for that? Just wing that thing in there? What size is that? 19. 19? Yeah. That's a communist size? So the one down there required a 19. These were 17 millimeter. A bolt, flat washer, lock washer, nut. And there's eight of them. And there was actually eight of them that came with the engine stand, amazingly enough. So that worked out good. As I carefully freed the 5.7 liter Hemi from its plastic cocoon, I noticed there's several parts on it that were broken, uh, like a lot of broken. Holes in the valve covers, the alternator smashed up, starters dangling off, a lot of stuff. This engine was removed probably with some heavy equipment that have a lot of hydraulics. So I wanted to tear into this engine to start to look at it to make sure the basic engine or the long block was sound. A lot of these parts I don't really need anyway. I didn't plan on using. I was hoping I was going to have them as spares. But it looks like they're just going to go right in the trash can. Pull this out and bolt it on there, which means that torque converter is going to have to come off. We'll pull the torque converter off next. These uh, electrical wires, plugs, cable ties, hoses, fuel lines, AC lines. They all seem to be placed in very inconvenient locations for me. And they're getting in the way a lot. So I think I'm gonna have to strip a lot of that stuff off uh, and take the torque converter off. So I peeled a lot of the wire harness back from here. Just kind of moved it forward. Uh, there's several sensors along the bottom on both sides. There's four bolts that hold the torque converter on. That was a 9 16 wrench. These are 3 8 bolts. So these are all 9 16 here, which surprised me. I figured this would all be metric, but can you jack it up more level? It's kind of sideways. Yeah, keep going. Okay. Uh, you can let it down a little bit. <laughs> Slowly. Yeah. Let me find the pin. Just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little, just, just a kiss. Just tweak it just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Yeah, you want me to... This actually needs to... You want, you want me to... Oh, you want me to do that while you put the pin in? Or you want me to put the pin in? Oh, okay. Somewhere around there, probably. Kind of level. <clears throat> yeah, no, not really. How's that? Is that level? No. Nope. Um, I'm going to have to reposition this. I'm going to stand here. All these bolts have been loosened, repositioned. Retighten. Now we'll see if we can lower it and uh, make it fall over or something. Well, that'll work more or less. We'll just have to, uh, we can take the quad and just yank that whole thing right off the engine hoist. So the first thing I wanted to do here was remove the valve covers. Okay, you just take this ratchet. Okay. And all you gotta do is loosen these bolts here. So that's. <laughs> That's just spinning it. You gotta turn it, go the other way. You gotta, gotta go like this. There you go. All right. Good job. Keep it going. So this does have some kind of metal sleeve. It's got a rubber washer on it. I don't, I think I can get this metal. Well, it looks pretty captured on there. So it's about, I probably save some of these just in case, just in case I need them. It'd be nice if I had a parts bucket. That'd be a good idea. Now we can just use this trash can lid. And put that right down there. Good thing it's square so it won't fall off. No, it's not square. It's gonna fall. Everything's gonna fall off. It'd be 
we can bend this dipstick tube out of the way. It's uh, pretty much done. Seen better days. I think that one's good. We'll move on to this one that's bent. I don't know if that's a good, I don't know if that's a good clue. Can you pull it out? Oh, it's hard. It is kind of hard, yeah. There we go. Okay, this one next. I think I can do that one. I think that so. one, one finger. I'll get this one. You can get this. Ah, right on my foot. Does that hurt? Okay, you can get the next one. Right here. That a boy. All right. If only I had another one of those. I did. How's that side going? Oh, it's good. Do we have a race to see who's going to get done first? Yeah. I think I lose. You got a head start. Mm -hmm. That's not fair. Life's not fair, right? Mm -hmm. Listen, life is not fair. I think this uh, valve cover has seen uh, better days, much better days. Wow. This one's bent too. I'm guessing this engine. Oh, this was one's really bent though. Probably removed with a lot of force and a lot of. This one's actually big, really bent though. I'm surprised. Big equipment powered by hydraulics. <laughs> Can you get that done yet? No. Man! Isn't that done yet? Glad I'm not paying you by the hour. Oh. Man, you're way too bent. Look at that. Mine's Still stuck. bent. Still got bent bolts holding this in there. Mine's actually really stuck though. Is it? Yeah. Mine's actually really stuck too still. You're funny. Okay, last one. Maybe all of you are done on this side. And then we're gonna we'll take a look here. Get it. Trying to see if we can kinda of look here. Yeah, definitely got a little bit of water in here. Um but I don't think it's too bad. There's Pretty oily down in here, so I would think if there's a whole lot of water, it would have puddled up. Yeah. Either that or this engine's got a blown head gasket and it's already bad, or a cracked head or something broken. This side over here looks a little, looks a bit crustier. Yep. I got some brake cleaner that'll spray that out though, and then uh, we're definitely gonna do a leak down test on this to determine the health of the engine. We'll continue the engine tear down in the next video. But right now, let's talk about the choice of engine color. So thank you to everybody who commented on the last video for suggestions we should paint the engine. Uh, the results of that are in. Two votes for Hemi Orange, which was my personal favorite. We had two votes for Ford Blue. Two votes for Red. Two votes for Green. Two votes for Pink. Two votes for purple. We had one vote for green and blue. For Seahawks green and blue. So I think we gotta paint it since it's a tie. I think we gotta paint it all these colors. And we should probably paint the engine compartment to match. So the idea of this is gonna be when you open the hood, how many babies did it take to puke on that to make it look like that? It will be a work of art. Thanks for watching Turlo's Garage. We still have a lot of work to do on a Grand Cherokee. This engine needs to come out. Uh, there's a lot of grease and a lot of degreasing needs to go on in here. So that is on an upcoming episode of Turlo's Garage and we'll see you next time.